Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm tired. 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 Yeah, me too. <laughs> but we have to work. So let's do this. Okay. Um, just let me get this done. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you now. So please. Okay, everybody, take a look. Uh, I'm going to call the attendance now. Just need to access the attendance list. There it is. Okay, when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Adán. Uh, Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am present. Good evening. Welcome. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present, Hello. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, Chair. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Este presente, teacher, como dice Jason. Jason. Es Juan Carlos, güey. Ah, ok. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present, teacher. Welcome. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Karen Julissa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julissa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansura Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening, welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome, Mauro. Monica Yvette Merino Rivas. Present, teacher. Welcome, Monica. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. 
Uh, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher, I am here. Welcome. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. A uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Good evening, teacher. John Charlie evening. Portillo present. Welcome. <laughs> Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. John Charlie. Okay. John Charlie. Okay. Um, we have three chat entries. Carlos, Wilber, okay, okay. I get them all. Okay. Thank you. And let's begin. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio, Uno, and that's me, Bandoñan, at your service once again. This is uh, session 13, and today is August the 15th of 2023 or 2023. So, what are we going to do? Take a look. This is the listening part. How are they related? Today we start section number five. This is the last section, and then we do the final test, the final exam, and we're going to finish on Friday. So let's do this, maximum effort. So um, here we go, listening, how are they related? So listen to four conversations about famous people. How are the people related? So you have to tell me, for example, the first one is Michael Douglas and Catherine Seta Jones. What is the relationship between these two people? Are they friends? Uh, family members, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You have to tell me, okay? Then Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias. That's very easy, okay? Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage. What's the relationship? And then Annette Bening and Shirley MacLaine. What's the relationship between these people? Tiene que decirme cuál es la relación entre cada uno. ¿Qué es esa persona de la otra? I'm going to play the track twice. I want you to listen and complete this. Okay? Me avisan si escuchan, por favor. Look at this picture of Michael Douglas. He's my it? favorite actor. Can you hear yeah. that? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank you. Just checking. Okay, let's begin. Look at this picture of Michael Douglas. He's my favorite actor. Yeah, I like his movies. Is that his wife? Of course. That's Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, right. She's so beautiful and a terrific actress. They make a nice couple. Two. Cindy, Cindy. Sorry, Mom, that's my favorite song. Do you know Enrique Iglesias? You mean Julio Iglesias? Of course, he's one of my favorite singers. No, no, Enrique Iglesias. Julio is his father. Oh, no, I don't think I know him. Three. What are you reading, Pete? I'm reading an article about Francis Ford Coppola. He has a new movie out. Who? Francis Ford Coppola. You know, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Oh, right. Do you know who his nephew is? The actor Nicolas Cage. Really? I didn't know that. Four. Look, here's an article about my favorite movie star, Annette Bening. I like her, too. She's good in both comedies and dramas. 
She's married to Warren Beatty, right? That's right. In fact, he comes from a talented family. Do you know who Warren Beatty's sister is? Shirley MacLaine. I don't think I know her. Sure you do. She's a movie star, too. Okay, do you have the answers or do you need to listen to it one more time? He's saying one more time. One more time, one more time please. Okay, no problem. One more time it is. Here we go. Look at this picture of Michael Douglas. He's my favorite actor. Yeah, I like his movies. Is that his wife? Of course. That's Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, right. She's so beautiful and a terrific actress. They make a nice couple. Two. Cindy! Cindy! Sorry, Mom. That's my favorite song. Do you know Enrique Iglesias? You mean Julio Iglesias? Of course! He's one of my favorite singers. No, no. Enrique Iglesias. Julio is his father. Oh, no, I don't think I know him. Three. What are you reading, Pete? I'm reading an article about Francis Ford Coppola. He has a new movie out. Who? Francis Ford Coppola. You know, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Oh, right. Do you know who his nephew is? The actor Nicolas Cage. Really? I didn't know that. Four. Look, here's an article about my favorite movie star, Annette Benning. I like her, too. She's good in both comedies and dramas. She's married to Warren Beatty, right? That's right. In fact, he comes from a talented family. Do you know who Warren Beatty's sister is? Shirley MacLaine. I don't think I know her. Sure you do. She's a movie star, too. Okay, so what about the first one? Michael Douglas and Catherine Sita Jones. What's the relationship? Baudilio. Catherine Sita Jones is wife of the Michael Douglas. That is correct. Catherine Sita Jones is the wife of Michael Douglas. Yes, that's good. Thank you. What about number two, Enrique? <laughs> what about Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias? Yeah, uh, Julio Iglesias is father the father of Enrique Iglesias. Yeah, that's correct. Julio Iglesias is the father of Enrique Iglesias. That was very easy. <laughs> Thank you, Enrique. What about number three, Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage? What's the relationship? Who knows? If you know, raise your hand. Maria Magdalena. Grandfather. 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 Mm, not exactly. Nephew, it's... entonces. Se... Nephew. Se escucha okay. nephew o grandfather. Se escucharon dos. Así se Ajá. escuchó. <laughs> nephew. En realidad lo que dijeron es que Francis Ford Coppola es un director. Director de cine. Dirigió las películas The Godfather 1 and The Godfather 2, que es El Padrino, la 1 y la 2. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que mencionaron. Okay, but yeah, Nicolas Cage is the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola. Nephew means sobrino, right? Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. What about number four, Annette Benning and Shirley MacLaine? What's the relationship? If you know, raise your hand, please. Let's participate. Sister in law. Uh, Maria Lourdes, sister-in-law. Sure. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, she's a sister-in-law. And what's the meaning of sister-in-law? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa? What is the meaning? Cuñada. Cuñada. Yeah, that's right. You have a sister-in-law. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. We're going to learn some vocabulary on family members today. And uh, a little grammar, too. So, um... Let's do this. Lesson objective. Uh, in this lesson, participants will be able to lis listen to a conversation 
Just a moment. Okay. Listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. Present continuous. Nothing new. We have studied this before. Okay. So, uh, en esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de escuchar una conversación sobre parentescos usando el presente continuo. María de Lourdes. Sure. ¿Nos podría reforzar un poco lo de los parentescos, por favor? Sí, claro. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Eso lo haremos. No hay problema. Okay. So, uh, but first, a conversation. Okay. Asking about families. I want you to listen and practice. Let's take a look. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Page 31. Exercise 3. Okay, so there's a conversation asking about families. I need two volunteers to read this conversation aloud. Who wants to participate? Two volunteers to read the conversation. Jose Amilcar and Maria Magdalena. Okay. Um, let's see, Jose Amilcar, uh, you're going to play uh, Rita's part, and Maria Magdalena, you're going to play Sue's part. You can begin. Hello? Yes. Hola, hola. Okay, you, you may begin. I'm when... Rita. Yes. Usted es Rita. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Tell me about your brother and sisters, you. <laughs> well, my sister works <laughs> for the government. Oh, what does she do? Cambió la voz, huh? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Whoa. And what about your brother? He's with life. Wildlife. Wildlife. Proto, okay, so he's Photo photographer. Photographer. Mm -hmm. What? An interesting family. Can I meet them? Mm, no, my sister, our sheets. My, I'm sorry, my no... sisters, my sisters away. Always, always. She is now working in the United, United, United in the United States this month. And your brother? He is a, a traveling. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Tra traveling. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, good. Okay. So, uh, those Sorry, are, thank Rita. you. <laughs> Thank you, Rita and Sue. Okay, Bye. so <laughs> Rita says, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. And Sue says, well, my sister works for the government. Mm -hmm. Mi hermana trabaja para el gobierno. Oh, what does she do? ¿Y qué es lo que hace? ¿A qué se dedica? Mm -hmm. Sue says, I'm not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. It's a government secret. So... Rita says, wow, and what about your brother? Sue says, he's a wildlife photographer. Okay. Rita says, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? ¿Puedo conocerlos algún día, verdad? And Sue says, uh, no, my sister's away. What's the meaning of away? Significa que no está ahí, está en otra parte. That's the meaning of away. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. Rita says, and your brother? Sue says, he is traveling in the Amazon. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this conversation? Any questions? No questions. Okay, Enrique. Teacher, uh... Ahí 
sobre los eh, por ejemplo dice he had wildlife photographer mm -hmm. wildlife photographer that means that he goes into the forest or into the jungle and takes photographs of animals that's wildlife en la vida salvaje o animales salvajes fotógrafo de animales salvajes He's a wildlife photographer. Sí. Gracias, teacher. Mm -hmm. In English? Gracias. English, Gracias. English. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, any other questions about the vocabulary? No more questions. Okay. All right. One thing is, always remember, you have to speak English. Okay. Acuérdense de algunas preguntas, por ejemplo. You say, what is the meaning of... visto esto? What is the meaning of... Ok, que sería como... ¿Cuál es el significado de... Ya usted me dice la palabra. Ok. Also, you can ask the question, how do you pronounce that word? Okay, that will be something like, como se pronuncia esa palabra. Okay, cuando tengan dudas sobre qué significa una palabra o cómo se pronuncia una palabra, pueden ocupar estas preguntas. Always remember. Baudilio. No le oigo nada. Then, uh, okay. this question for Patricia. Okay. Thank you. Ah, Pia, what's up? Yeah, sure. Baudilio, hablando de participación, siento que en las últimas clases el audio le ha empeorado ahí porque me cuesta más entenderle cuando participa. Es que es por el dominio del inglés que lleva. No, no, más bien siento que como que ha cambiado de dispositivo o algo, el micrófono, algo no, no es igual que antes, entonces cuesta más entender. ¿Perdón? The microphone is bad. Ah, ok, the microphone is bad. Es de acuerdo. Ok. All right. All right, so uh, let's continue. So what are we going to do here? Take a look. Uh, you're going to practice Maria Magdalena. Pronounce teacher. How do what? you pronounce that word? Mm -hmm. ah. What is the meaning of? Uh, what is the meaning of? And what how do you of? how do you pronounce that word? How do you pronounce that word? Okay, that's good. How do you pronounce that word? Okay, great. Thanks. You're welcome. So what are we going to do? Take a look. It's an exercise. This is knowledge check 5.2. Okay. And uh, here's some family members. Okay. This is the vocabulary that we're going to study. So take a look. Um, you have Andy and Marta, Chris and Sarah, Donna and Manuel, Sam and Yumiko, Jim and Lisa, there's Teresa also, and Kelly and Jimmy. So what are we going to do here? I want you to take a good look at this and you're going to tell me about the relationship between these people, okay? So you are going to take the words from the uh, word bank on the upper corner. The words are cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. So what are we going to do here? Take a good look, okay? You have grandfather and etc. etc. So uh, what is it that you're going to do right here? Number one, Andy is Sam's grandfather, okay? So this is Sam, you can see him here, and this is Andy. So Andy is Sam's grandfather. 
And Marta is his, his what? Chat entry here, Franklin Delao is here. Welcome, Franklin. So uh, if you know the answer, you may participate. Okay, so what is this? Maria Magdalena. Andy is Sangam father and Marta is his grandmother. Grandmother, yeah, that's correct. Okay, very good. So you have Andy and Marta, grandfather and grandmother. So el abuelo y la abuela. So uh, Andy, you have it here again. Andy is Sam's grandfather and Marta is his grandmother. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. What about number two? Who knows the answer? Remember, you're going to get the answer from the list on the on the corner right here. So, who can tell me? Saul Ernesto, please read number two. Uh, Chris is Sam's father. Chris is Sam's father. That is correct. You have Chris is Sam's father. Okay, es el padre. Okay, then uh, Sarah is the mother. Okay, good. What about number three? Who wants to participate? Number three, you have uh, Manuel and Sam. What's that? Okay, Ever Enrique. Manuel is Sam's uncle. Manuel is Sam's uncle. That is correct. Very good. Okay, Manuel is Sam's uncle. Great. Very, very good. What about number four? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Maria de Lourdes. Jumico um, is wife oh. of Sam. Of okay, Sam's... good. Sam's wife, correct, very good. Can you read uh, the sentence in number four? Your answer is correct, okay. But can you help me read uh, number four, Maria de Lourdes? Sam is married to Jumico. She's his wife. Correct. Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his wife. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. That is great. Number five. You know the answer? Please raise your hand. Adán Iglesias. Sister in law. Okay, can you read the whole sentence, please? Come on. Uh, number five. Can you read it, please, from the beginning? Si lo lee desde el principio, verdad? Número cinco. Sam has a brother. He's mar married to Lisa. Mm -hmm. Lisa is a Sam sister in law. That's correct. Sam has a brother. That's Jim. Okay. Uh, Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. So that means that Lisa, Lisa. is Sam's sister in law. La cuñada. Is... Okay, wait, wait, but that's the next one. Okay, but thank you very much. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's it. Um what about number six? Number six, who can help me with number six? Please. Raise your hand. Number six, please. Ever Enrique. Ch 
she's son cousin. Okay. All right. So Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's cousin. She's Sam's cousin. Cousin. Mm -hmm. Cousin, which means primo or prima. Okay. So she's Sam's cousin. Very good. Um, and the last one, number seven. Easy. Who else? Please raise your hand. Let's participate. Maria de Lourdes. Jim and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's um, niece. 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 Mm -hmm. Niece. And Jimmy is his nephew. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. Okay, there's the vocabulary. Okay, everybody. Take a look. You have a grandfather and grandmother, abuelo y abuela, right? There's father and mother, padre y madre. You have aunt and uncle, tía y tío, okay? Aunt and uncle. Then you have a husband, which is esposo, okay? And wife, esposo y esposa, right? There is the word brother, okay? Brother, hermano. No aparece acá, pero también está sister, ¿verdad? Que es hermana. And then you have sister-in-law, all right? Cuñada. There's the word cousin, primo o prima, okay? There is niece, sobrina, and nephew, sobrino. There are, there are some other words that we have to know also, okay? The in-laws. Who are the in-laws? Okay, son todos sus familiares políticos. What is that? You can have a brother, in-law. I'm going to copy this. Okay, you can have a sister-in-law. You can have a mother-in-law. You can also have a father-in-law. Okay, if brother-in-law is cuñado, okay, remember that. Cuñado, then you have sister-in-law is cuñada. What is mother-in-law? Who knows? What's mother-in-law? Cecia, welcome, Cecia. Madrastra. To... Madrastra, no, not exactly. Pero es madrastra. Uh, okay, uh, Maria Lourdes. Suegra. Es la suegra, okay, that's right. Ah, perdón, eso no tengo. Okay. And then there's the father-in-law, which is suegro, right? So, yeah, there you go. You have brother-in-law, cuñado, sister-in-law is cuñada, okay? Mother-in-law, suegra, father-in-law, suegro. Toda la familia que usted gana cuando es casa. Uh, María de Lourdes. Oh, did you say um, nuera and um, yerno? How do you think? Siguiendo la misma lógica, ¿cómo será? Son in law, um, daughter and um, law. Daughter. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it. Son in law means yerno, yerno, and daughter in law, nuera. Baudilio. Ah, la misma pregunta le iba a hacer. Me quitó las palabras de la boca. Ok. Carmelo, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, entiéndase por Carmelo que el, el amante, ¿o cómo? <ríe> Ese no es de la familia. Ok. So, uh, there you go. Eben Enrique. Hermanastro, hermanastra, okay. madrastra, padrastro. Okay, uh, that's a different one. You have step. You say stepson, stepdaughter, stepfather, stepmother, uh, stepbrother, and step uh, sister. 
Those are the ones. Stepson, he has to, right? Stepdaughter, he has to. Stepfather, padrastro. Stepmother, a madrastro. Stepbrother, hermanastro, right? Stepsister, hermanastro. That's how you say it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Lo podría enviar por WhatsApp, dicho. Sure. Okay. Just going to write it here. Uh, just let me write the translation here. Okay, Cecia, do you have a question? No. Nope. Okay. So what's up? Enrique. Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of a uh, step? Solo step. Ah, porque me llama la atención que siempre se le antepone a todos los. Step significa paso. Como cuando usted da un paso. Pero ¿por qué se le antepone ese ah, prefijo a. En a, a ajá. ¿Por qué se le antepone ese prefijo a, a estos miembros de la familia? Le voy a ser bien sincero. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sorry. No le voy a mentir. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I should investigate the etymology of the word. Habría que investigar la etimología de las palabras, pero no sé, honestamente. Cecia. Gracias, teacher. Porque a un paso estuvieron de ser hermanos de Adebis. Tal vez. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a chat entry. Jose Benjamin Gavidia is here. Thank you, Jose Benjamin, and welcome. Okay, so uh, that's the vocabulary you wanted. Okay, um, that's it. Let's continue. So what's next? Lesson objective. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas y responder usando el presente continuo. Nothing new here. You have studied the present continuous before with me. I've been the instructor. That's why I know. So grammar focus, everybody, take a look. This is uh, section 5.4 from the platform. Grammar focus, present continuous. So how does it work? You have, are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Erika Beatriz says she's here. Welcome, Erika. Okay. So again, are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. You can say no, she's not or no, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. Now, these are yes, no questions, as you can see, right? Because the answer is yes or no. But then you have information questions. And as you know, information questions always begin with a WH word, like what, who, when, why, which, how much, etc., etc. So you have the question, where are you working now? Where are you working now? ¿Dónde estás trabajando? And the person says, I'm not working. I need a job. Okay. What is your brother doing these days? He is traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. As you can see, these are information questions. That means that you need very specific information to answer them. Usted no va a decir, where are you working now? Después le va a decir, yes, I am. No tendría ningún sentido porque no es una yes, no question. Así que mucho cuidado ahí. 
Now, what is this? Okay. Hmm. Sorry. That slide went wrong. Bye-bye. Okay. So, um, what is this? We have the present continuous. We're going to have a review on this. We have studied this before. So, nothing new. Present continuous. Take a look. She says, I am eating. Okay. She is eating. She isn't reading. It's raining, the sun isn't shining. And they say, we are running. They are running, they aren't walking. So this is present continuous. Take a look. The present continuous is, am, is, or are. If it's affirmative, if it's negative, you have to add not. And then the verb in ing. Doing, eating, running, writing, etc. Now, remember, the verb be, in the present continuous is absolutely necessary. You need to use it. If you don't use it, it's wrong. If you don't use it, it's incorrect. So you have to use it. Always remember that. So it's again, am, is, or are, plus the verb in ing. If it's negative, then you are going to use the negative of the verb be. So you have I am and the verb in ing. And if it is negative, you say I am not and verb in ing. Example, I am working. That's affirmative. Negative. I am not watching TV. That's true for me right now. Eso es cierto lo que estoy haciendo. I am working. I am not watching TV. Okay. I am explaining how to use the present continuous. I am not having dinner. So when the subject is he, she, or it, you have to use is and the verb in ing. If it's negative, you have to use not. Examples, Maria is reading a newspaper. We say Maria is because Maria is a lady. So she is reading a newspaper. Maria is reading a newspaper. Negative form, she isn't eating. Or you can say she is not eating. Both forms are valid. Both forms are correct. And the phone is ringing. El teléfono está sonando, right? The phone is ringing. And finally, we have the subjects, we, you, and they. When that's the case, you are going to use are and the verb in ing. If it's negative, you're going to say are not. Examples, we are having dinner. Estamos cenando. We are having dinner. You are not listening to me. No me está escuchando. Or you aren't listening to me. The children are doing their homework. Los niños están haciendo su tarea. The children are doing their homework. They are doing their homework. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Although you have this information, I have sent it to you before. But I'm going to do it again. Some what's up. So um, what's next? Now, as you know, uh, there is this, that was the structure of present continuous, okay? This is the structure, this is the use. Now, you use the verb be, am, is, or are, plus the verb in ing, and that means something is happening now. Algo está sucediendo ahora. Okay, we we talk about we use the present continuous to talk about actions occurring right now. Okay, for example, I say I am working. No, sorry. Uh, here's a, a timeline. Right, this is the past. That's the future, and that's the present. The present is right now in this moment. I can say I am working, and it's true. I'm working. She is wearing a hat. They are playing baseball. I'm not watching television. And you have some examples. You say, please be quiet. I'm working. That means I'm working now. Look, there is Sarah. She is wearing a yellow dress. That means she is wearing a yellow dress now. The weather is nice. Okay, it's not raining, or you can say it isn't raining. Next one, where are the children? They are playing in the park right now. 
on the phone. You say, we are having dinner now. Can I call you later? Estamos cenando ahorita. Te puedo llamar luego. We're having dinner now. Can I call you later? And the last one, you can turn off the television. Puedes apagar la tele. I am not watching it. No estoy viendo. Okay? I'm not watching it. And that is the use of present continuous. Remember, you can use it to talk about actions or activities occurring right now, in this moment. That's how you use it. So, we have some spelling rules also. Okay, something that you need to remember, the spelling rules. For the ing form of the verb. First rule is, si ustedes se fijan, las reglas son muy parecidas casi siempre. Okay, you have to add ing to most verbs. For example, work becomes working. Study becomes studying. Eat becomes eating. That's the first rule. Just add ing to most verbs. Now, for verbs ending in E, you have to drop the E and add ing. You have to eliminate the E and add ing. For example, you have the verbs, I'm going to zoom in, you have the verbs come, ends in E, coming. So if you notice, you eliminate the E and you add ing, okay? You have the verb dance. Again, it ends in E. So you eliminate the E and you add ING, dancing. Write, it ends in E. So you drop the E and you add ING. That's the rule, second rule. Next rule. For verbs ending in a stressed syllable with the final combination consonant, 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 this aquí, perdón. Consonant, okay. Sorry, there was some spelling mistake. Okay. Consonant, consonant, yeah, it's correct. So for verse ending in the stress syllable with the final combination, consonant plus vowel plus consonant, you have to add an extra consonant and ing. Hay dos condiciones para esta regla. La primera es que la última sílaba sea una sílaba fuerte, que lleve el acento y que termine en consonante, vocal y consonante. Si el verbo solo tiene una sílaba, entonces esa es la fuerte. Ahí no nos podemos perder. You have some examples. Run. Run has only one syllable. So that's the stress syllable. Si solo tiene una, esa es la fuerte. So run. And it ends in consonant R, vowel U, consonant n. So that means that you need to add an extra n and then ing. So run becomes running. R-U-N n-i-n-g running. Second example, you have stop. Stop is a one syllable verb. Okay, it only has one syllable. So that's the stress syllable. And it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. You have consonant t Vowel O, consonant P. That means you need to duplicate the final consonant and add ing. So you have stopping. That's S T O P P I N G. Okay? Stopping. And you have control. Control. Okay? Control. Now, it becomes a bit more difficult now because control has two syllables. You have control, control. But the final syllable is stressed. La última sílaba lleva la fuerza de voz. Porque no decimos control, sino que decimos control, control. So the final syllable is stressed. So that's condition number one. And then condition number two, it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you have consonant R, vowel O, consonant L. So the two conditions meet. You say controlling, controlling, C-O-N-T-R-O-L, L-I-N-G. Un, un ejemplo donde no se cumple la regla. You have the verb, for example, 
visit. Ok. Usted puede decir, termina en consonant, vowel, consonant. Ok, good. Consonant, vowel, consonant. But that is only one condition. What is the other condition? La otra condición es que esa última sílaba tiene que terminar, tiene que ser la fuerte. But we don't say visit. That is not the right pronunciation. You don't say visit. The correct pronunciation is visit. Visit. So, the stress is not in the final syllable. The stress is on the first syllable. Como no se eh, llega a cumplir las dos condiciones, entonces no vaya a duplicar la última sílaba. Mucho puede terminar en consonant, vowel, consonant, pero como la última sílaba no es la fuerte, entonces no le vaya a duplicar nada, solo póngale ing, ya estuvo. Ok, no voy a poner visit in double T, ahí sí, no, ¿verdad? Ok. And uh, one more rule is for verbs ending in IE, you change IE for YING. Examples. The verb lie, which is mentir o estar acostado. Okay, ambas. Lie, it ends in IE. So you have to change IE for YING, lying. Another example, die. Die is morir. So it ends in IE. So you change IE for Y-I-N-G, dying. And then you have tie, which is atar, okay? Tie, it ends in IE. So you change IE for Y-I-N-G, and then you have tie. Those are the rules. Le voy a dar algo que no aparece acá, ¿verdad? En la segunda regla. For verse ending in E, drop the E and add ING. Excepto, fíjense bien, excepto cuando el verbo termina en doble E. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo agree. Agree means estar de acuerdo. La regla que, que vimos, la segunda que vimos, decía que había que quitar una E si termina en E. Pero si el verbo termina en doble E, no le vaya a quitar nada. Ahí solo agréguele ING. Otro ejemplo. Free. Free. Es libre, pero como verbo es liberar. Free también termina en doble E. Si termina en doble E, no le vaya a quitar nada. Solo agréguele ING. Free. Ok. Pequeño paréntesis ahí, ¿verdad? I'm going to send these rules to you via WhatsApp. Do you have any questions about the rules? Any questions? No questions? No question. Okay, great. All right then, exercise time. Present continuous. What are these people doing? Use the verbs to complete the sentences. You have eat, have, lie, play, sit, and wait. What about number one? What is she doing? You know the answer, raise your hand. Evan, and then David for number two. She is eating an apple. She's eating an apple. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Ever. Uh, David, number two, what is he doing? David, David Antonio, Rosales, Garcia. David? Okay, um, anybody else who wants to participate? What's number two? Enrique. 
Dicha sería, eh, he is bus stop for a bus. Uh, no, not really. You have to select the verbs from the box. The verbs are eat, have, lie, play, sit, and wait. Okay. Entonces sería, eh, he why bus, he why bus, he why for a bus. Okay, dos cosas. Hay que ocupar el verb be y el otro verbo en ing. Entonces sería he. He is. Uh -huh. He is. Why. Así es como se llama. Wait. 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 Ajá, wait. Pero hay que cambiar el verbo. Wait, waiting. Ajá, he is waiting. Waiting. He is waiting for a bus. He is waiting for a bus. Okay, that's correct. He's waiting for a bus. Thank you, Enrique. Cecia, number three. They are playing soccer. They're playing soccer. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Cecia. Very good. What about number four? Number four. Paulilio. He lying in the floor. You forget something important. You need to use the verb be. He is lying in the floor. He is lying on the floor. Okay, correct. Okay, always the verb be. Thank you, Paulilio. Number five. Except Paulilio. <laughs> Sorry. I need different people. Okay. What about number five? Mm-hmm. Number five, David Antonio, are you there? Levantó la mano David Antonio, pero no supe. Ahí está. Okay, hello, David. Do you have number five? Number, number five is sitting. Um, no, that will be number six. No, teacher. No, no. Okay, no problem. Jose Amilcar. They are having breakfast. They are having breakfast. That is correct. They're having breakfast. Good. And the last one, number six. Raise your hand if you want to participate. She is on the tape. She is. She is. Okay, let's listen to Maria Magdalena. She is sitting in the table. Sitting on, the, on table. the table. On the table. Sitting on the table. She's sitting on the table. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. She's sitting on the table. Good. All right. Um, those are the answers. Very good, everybody. Thank you for your participation. Uh, there are more exercises, but uh, I believe we're going to do them tomorrow. Okay, just uh, before we finish, I am going to uh, show you here the platform. This is 5.4. Okay, everybody, remember that by now you should have completed sections one, two, three, and four, all of them. Sections one, two, three, and four. And uh, we should be right now Section number five. See, I have it here. Just a moment. Okay, so there is section number five. 
we have already covered uh, 5.0. There is 5.1 asking about families. Please watch the video. Okay. Uh, there's Miss Jessica. She explains it very well. Uh, there's a knowledge check. Okay. I want you to complete the knowledge check. We did this exercise today. So it's the same, the same thing. Easy. Okay. Cuidado que acabe de completar, ¿verdad? Si usted pone mal o una letra, se lo va a tomar mal. Así que mucho cuidado ahí. Uh, the lesson objective 5.3 and there's a video uh, present continuous. Everybody, please watch the video. Okay, you should be here. Now, um, I'm just going to call the attendance one more time. If you hear your name, let me know. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Valentín Rivera López. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Okay. All right, everybody. Good night. That's, that's it for today. Okay. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Take care. Teacher. Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. El, el